Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Carissa for those who are new and I am a 30 plus year old cash budgeter who uses this system to get her finances in order. So if that is content that you may be interested in, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let's just jump right into this video. So this week we are cash stuffing paycheck number four of November and we have a total of... Uh, let's okay. Let me count all this money. So we have 50, 1, 52, 53, 54, 50. Wow. Let's try that again. <laughs> 51, 52, 53, 54. So 420, 40, 60, 80, 500. And 20, so 520, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. So 565 dollars, which is about right. I yeah, it is right. I spent 20 dollars today at work for some food that we bought, so that should be coming from my eating out. Um, category but hopefully I remember to do that so let's go ahead and unstuff our wallet for the week so gas we had some rollover I didn't actually put any gas in my car because I barely drove my car this week and groceries we have some money left over as well so we decided that we're not going to fully um, give Kane, if you guys are new, Kane is my puppy. Um, we're not going to go completely raw with him. So I was budgeting $150 for groceries because we were factoring him getting raw food. But we're going to like treat it somewhat of like a treat. So every so often we'll maybe top his food with a little bit of raw food every so often just to kind of give him variety of food. Just like how we have variety of food. So I think that's just how we're going to tackle it. So I don't know if I'm going to keep my grocery budget at 150 or I'll drop it down a little bit. I'm going to I'm going to think about it and see how I feel about the budget that I currently have and if I can continue doing so or if I should cut it down. Uh spending there was $10 so we're just going to put that in here. And I believe that is it. Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and, I don't need this anymore, let's get this wallet stuffed for the week. So gas is getting 40. Um, I know for sure this week I need to put gas in because I have about a half a tank and I like to fill up, um, I don't like to drop below um, half if I can prevent that. Groceries is getting 150. Spending is getting 30, so 10, 20, 30. And then eating out is supposed to get 30, but I already spent 20, so it's just going to get $10. That is going to be a struggle, I know for sure. I'm going to go over budget with this because what is $10 going to do for me for a week? Um... But yeah, home is getting five dollars. So home now has 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50. We have toiletries and this is getting five as well what do you guys okay so for us um, Canadians our Black Friday is coming up tomorrow I'm filming on a Thursday I don't know if this video will be posted before Black Friday or on Black Friday um, or if it's gonna be posted after but 
what are you guys doing for Cyber Monday? Are you guys shopping? Do you guys have some things in mind? Do you guys already have your shopping carts filled, just ready to cash out? What are you guys doing? I don't really have anything in mind that I want to get for Cyber Monday, but I definitely will be browsing the internet to see what, um, what's out there <laughs> to see if I just want to get it for the sake of getting it. But I definitely don't have any needs this year. Um, okay, so toiletries has... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So $75 in toiletries. But yeah, so I'm not, obviously I'm not American and I don't really know their holidays like that. So I don't even know if their Black Friday has already passed or if it's approaching or yeah. I don't want to sound silly. So I'm just going to leave that conversation alone. Um, and then miscellaneous is getting $5, but I just know for sure for Cyber Monday, um, which is approaching because I work on Black Friday for us, so I know I won't be in the mall shopping, but I definitely will be able to participate in, um, Cyber Monday, so we'll see what I get my hands on. Okay, so that is it for our wallet. Okay, now we're jumping into our sinking funds. These are more of my low-term or low-priority sinking funds. And health is not getting anything. Kane is getting some money. He's getting $50. So Kane now has 50, 150, 170, 190, and 200. And I actually need to take this money out because I have an IOU for myself of $204.68. I'm probably just, no. Yeah, I'm going to take this money out, but I'll do this off camera just so I don't confuse myself. So I can pay myself back. But So it's going to be at zero, but it's going to be at zero short for a short period of time because I'm going to put some money from my savings challenge in here. And um, I get a bonus week um a bonus paycheck next week if what am i trying to say a bonus bonus week this month so i will be able to put some more money into his envelope so it won't be at zero for long that was i don't even know that was a struggle it's late it is late guys okay so i have to take a sip of a drink here my throat was getting super dry all right stock up is getting 30 so 20 and a 10 so now we have 50 70 90 100 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 200 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 so 270 is in stock up and I would like to get this to about $400. And the reason why I want to get it to that is like I feel like that's good for two like bulk hauls. So like if me and my boyfriend were to split it and go 50-50, we can do like a $400 haul at once and I put two, he put two, and then I'll still have enough to do that again in the future if needed. So that's why I think 400 is a good amount. Car maintenance um, not getting anything, but I did take the $200 placeholder that I had in there because I went to get an oil change and so I removed it from there. So now there's $500 in car maintenance. Now my oil change did not cost $200. It really cost a little over $100, but I accidentally transferred out $200. So I'm just writing off the $200. If anything, I will use the extra to get wiper um windshield wiper blades and um there was something else that i wanted to get for my car so i'll use that hundred dollars for that travel is getting 50 so i have 500 550 600 650 700 750 800 850 900 950 1000 100 200 and 300 so 1300 is now in travel. Um, wax is getting $10. Oh, last week when I did my 
I think it's my savings challenge video and I had leftover money. So the $30, because I think I had $40 that I had no idea where it came from. So I slow, I kind of figured it out that I had overstuffed my um, grocery binder or grocery envelope. But anyways, so <laughs> I had to take that 50 out and 30 went back into groceries. And then that extra 10 was actually for waxing. I just totally forgot to stuff it in my cash stuffing video. So yeah, so now waxing has 20. And then nails is getting 20. I am saving up for a Christmas set. Uh, if I can, I will leave a picture of what I want to get done in the video because I think it's super cute and I've never done anything like that before. So that is it for this binder. Okay, now we're jumping into our savings binder. Or, sorry, we're going into our long term and savings. Um, so, starting off with savings, savings is getting $10. So now it has 500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 950, 970, 980, 990, 1000, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85. So I believe that was 1,085. I think so. If it's incorrect, I will leave the correction somewhere on the screen. New car is getting 80. So it's getting 50, 20, and oops, doesn't want to go in there. And a 10. Okay, so now I'm actually quite nervous about this. It has 1,500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 950, 2,000, 51, 52, 53, 54, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 6. Oh, okay. That was easier than I thought. So 2600 is now in a new car. Hopefully I can get to 3000 by the end of this year. And then I have a new envelope. This is for Kane's Vet and Emergencies, but it's not getting anything. But I figured I will included because I think it is necessary and I really need to start saving for anything that comes up and future isn't getting anything in our emergency we have a savings challenge for that okay so that is it for the cash stuffing video this money here does go towards my savings challenges so if you guys want to see how much is being stuffed in my savings challenges then you know what to do please check out the savings challenge video. But anyways, guys, I thank you so much for um, watching my cash stuffing video. If you guys like what you see, please go ahead and hit that like button. Please leave a comment down below. Um, it would be very helpful. And yeah, I just want to see my channel grow. Hopefully next year it can do some more growing. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you. And I'll talk to you and see you guys in another cash stuffing. Bye.